Good. Thank you very much. Now you're moving on to something else. Yes, sir. Going back to full-time medical practice. You know, uh, with uh, full-time hospital staff type work. Oh, where, where are you going? I'm right over at Andrews Air Force Base. Oh. I got my old job on the internal medicine staff back, which is well, delightful. Well, just a little souvenir. Thank you very much. Dave's here. It's been a real pleasure, and it's been a real privilege, so thank you very much. Well, thank you for everything. Appreciate Bye. it. Thanks. Hello, Mr. President. Hi. How are you? Good to see you again, sir. It's good to see you. You remember my wife, Diane? Yes, Mr. President. Nice to see you. And this one I don't think you remember. This is Linda, our daughter. She's grown a little bit. Yes. And this is our new son-in-law, Larry, Larry Pittman. Well, I think we need a group picture. <laughs> I think so. I think so. I think you want to be in the, in the middle okay, here. I think. opportunity to stop by and say hello. We haven't seen you since I talked to you since 81. So well, it's been a while. Yes, it has. Oh, this has been a wonderful experience. Well, I just have a few souvenirs here. Oh, good. Also for you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Stick pin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Presidential Thank you. seal. I mean, yes, I noticed. I noticed. So. Well, keep us together. You're doing a great job, sir. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Nice to see you, Mr. I remember sending a message. Congratulations, I think. Yes. Uh, oh, very good. I was going to thank you for that. Thank yes, you very much. was very nice. I, we appreciate it. Yeah, they've been, they've, quite something. they've been married a whole, what, eight, eight months. months. <laughs> uh -huh. That's right. So, and that's very nice to have your wife to see you. Ask for who is the kids in town. That's it. I think we're on our way. Thank you again. Thank you Thank you very Good much. Good to see you. Professor Larkin Curry. Honored, Mr. President. Well, I'm the other Irishman from Quebec City. <laughs> <laughs> and you're also the incoming president of IUPAP. Good of you to mention it. Thank you. Well, and you're the Mr. Professor Mr. President, Brown. Brown. yes. Hard act to pull. You're the outgoer. <laughs> I'm the outgoer. That's right. Yes. Well, it's been a busy three years. Well, I know, and I, I'm honored that, uh, that you. I think you like to have as close ranks here. great contribution you make, and I know there are 50 nations involved in the organization, and, and uh, your slogan, I think, is appropriate to this modern day and age, too, about physics and the world of technology. I like the contribution Thank you, very you much. made. Being in Washington, they've almost all come to the meeting. We have a record number of attendees and votes. Well, oh, out of a possible 105, this is the first time in history that fully 100 are here and voting. Oh my goodness, well that, that is something. It shows we have a lot of appeal in this town, Mr. President. <laughs> and so does the union. That's right. Did you hear that our favorite state had an earthquake this afternoon? Yes. I, well, it's overdue. I, <laughs> Don't say that. Here. Well, if you're a Californian, you think about the thing that they get more severe if they you know, if, if they, they wait, don't, yeah, if they wait true. until it's all piled up, and so you keep thinking, it's been a long time. Let's, That's right. Well, so far, the reports of damage aren't too bad. From this no. No. Very small number of deaths. I am, I am being uh, optimistic on account of our ranch up there at Santa Barbara is up in the Santa Inez Mountains. And if there's one thing I do know, being up on the rocks, you don't feel the quake as you do down the right. That's right. below. Those flats are yeah. sort of mud. It's like jelly. Yeah. Yeah. We used to live in the, our home was in the, uh, Santa Monica Mountains that runs right down through Los Angeles, and I can't tell you how many times 
we'd have to read in the paper, see on television, there'd be an earthquake in Los Angeles. We wouldn't hear their free there. Yeah. Great. Well, Mr. President, we do appreciate your taking time to uh, speak with us today. Really appreciate your support. Well, it is most appreciative of all that you're doing. Was gracious and generous of you, and I leave you with greetings from Canada. Well, and I appreciate that because I think we have a lot in common. Here. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. May I please present Ambassador Michael? Yes, Mr. Ambassador. Mr. President, good to see you. Well, it's good to see you. Can I introduce my wife, Connie? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Our son, Paul. Paul. Oh, and yeah, our son, Mark. I see you. Paul is going to be here. Well, I think maybe we ought to have a family picture with you in the middle. Oh, yes, so. And maybe a son on either side. How's that? Yeah. Go on one side. Right. Okay. Oh, sorry. I think you'd like to have you squeeze in a little bit. Well, I know all that you've done with our getting aid to the Contras, and I'm very pleased and happy with that. Guatemala is a very important part now diplomacy and all that goes on down there, and so I think you're in a very important post. Well, yes. I'll do my, do my best. We'll do our best. I Pardon. know you will. Wait one second. I, this, so you won't forget us. Okay. <laughs> so, thank you. Oh, thank you. 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 very much. And thank you. for taking the time. Thank you for doing it. Taking the post. <laughs> I'd like that. They keep me a little busy. <laughs> President, may I please present Ambassador Rockworker? Yes. And I'm Mrs. Rockworker. Hello. Nice to see you. Sure, President. Well, it's wonderful to be here with you. Well, you get between us here. All right. Thank you. Well, I hope things will settle down a little bit in Fiji there with what's going on, but it'll be a shame if you have to spend another winter in Buffalo. Buffalo's not the best. <laughs> he likes it. He likes it. I don't. Well, after half a century in California, I'm not partial to sunshine. I like the heat. Yes. You love Buffalo. So does Nancy. Nancy is... Nancy didn't get cold in July. <laughs> so can she. Oh. So can she. I was so happy to have Fiji. I thought maybe, you know, we would get a northern place. And I don't like that. Of course, it was peaceful until I was designated. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to tell you a funny story, Mr. President. Take a moment. I have an old football injury, and I'm getting my knee x-rayed. And there was a technician and I were, were in the room getting my knee x-rayed, and they called me in my office. The president is calling. I said, Don't go and get my trousers down. I've got to get my trousers up to call the president by. <laughs> you got him with his pants down. Ah, what position were you playing at that interview? Left halfback. They actually call left halfback in those days. I was right guard myself. Oh, you had the glamour post. <laughs> uh, just so you won't forget us. Oh, him never. And there. Thank you. Cufflinks. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve my country, sir. Well, listen, I thank you for thank doing you. it. Thank you, sir. All right, wish you well. Thank, thank you. you very much. God bless you. Mr. President, may I please present Ambassador Nimchek? Mr. Ambassador. Well, Mr. President. Good to see you. I have a chance to say thank you all that you've been doing and also now for what you're going to do. Well, thank you so much. I've been, uh, uh, our schedules last year did not permit me to thank you personally for uh, entrusting uh, this uh, job and position, which is difficult but very rewarding and challenging to me. And I want you to know that I'm out in Prague to implement your policies to the best of my ability. Well, let's turn and give him a... 
Well, I know you will. Thank you. Right now, see. Would you like to have something to go with that? Fine. Go with All right, sir. Thank you so much. I will turn. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. Yes, hello there, Mr. President. How are you? Just fine. Pleasure to meet you. Well, it's nice to see you. Actually, let me introduce my family. This is my sister, Ellen Hello there. Nice to see you. This is my brother-in-law, Stanley Prisonowski. Nice to see you. My step-nephew, Jason Prisonowski. Hello there. This is my step-niece, Nashila. Hello. Talk to you. see you. My sister-in-law, Nassim. Hello there. And my brother, Brian. I know that. I think we all have to line up and get in here someplace. Excellent. That's great. That's great. Everyone looking right here. Hey, Will, I know I'm saying goodbye to you in one sense, but you just go across the street. Right? <laughs> well, I wish you well. And I have some souvenirs here. The nurses from South Carolina said I had to say hello and good luck to you. <laughs> well, give them my regards if you have I shall. I shall when I return. All right. Thank you, sir. It's been a great honor serving you here, and I look forward to continuing work in your administration over Treasury. Well, I appreciate all that you've done. Thank you. And as I say, wish you well. Okay, great. All Thank right. you for having us in today. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks a lot. It's an honor. President, may I please present Ambassador Summer? Yes, hi. Hi, nice to see you, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. Good to see you. Good to see you. This is my son, Sasha. Hi, how are you doing? My daughter, Noel. Noel, this is my father. This is my son. for one of your friends, John Jones. Well, for heaven's sake, yes, I do. Anyway, it's a real privilege for us to come in and see the Oval Office and bring my children in here. I've been well, fortunate enough to come in here and turn around and get a group picture. Here. Okay. Yeah. You want, to, you want me to move on the side, sir? I think maybe. Okay. There. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Well, listen, I thank you for everything and all that you've done and you've been here and now we're doing this. I understand you're leaving this week. Yes, sir. Well, I've got to have a, some souvenirs before you go. That. You. Thank you very much. And the charm is for you. And that's a key that ring with the seal on it. And that's a tie bar. Thank you very much. You, do wear you know, the last <laughs> time I had my picture taken with you was with Edward Dirksen. Remember, he was marshal of the Rose Bowl parade. You were the governor, and we sat next to you. Thank you. Yes, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> oh, my God, that seems like that. Well, that's a many years, years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank President. You. Well, listen, We're about ready to keep working for you. I'm privileged to have you. Thank you Thank for you. seeing us. Uh, good to see you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Tim. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. Hi. Hello, Mr. President. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Thank you. Hello, Mr. President. Good to see you. Fred, how do you do? Nice to see you. Well, we better turn around and get a family picture here. Thanks, Pete. Who's going to give me my steam shots? <laughs> well, I think we have more of the nurses over there that will do just as good a job. All right, where are you going? I'm in graduate school right now oh. at Catholic University, so I'm still in the area. Well, if you need a shot, well, you can call. That's right. <laughs> well, I thank you for all you've done. Well, thank you. I enjoyed every minute of it. Just one second here. A souvenir for you. Well, thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Oh. No wonder he's so popular. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Oh, good luck. Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> she, she was very kind and wonderful. Very special group of Marines to, for you to meet today. Mr. President, I'd like you to first uh, meet Court McCartney, who's been a century, West Wing Center, for a year and will be leaving next week. Well, you have a picture here? <laughs> Thank you, sir. And since you're leaving, we'll have a little souvenir. Sometimes you must wear a tank tie. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank, Thank you very much. I appreciate well, that. Thank you. Mr. Where will you be going? Uh, back to Marine Barracks, sir. Down at 8th Street. Oh, well, that's not going too far. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Right. Mr. President, we also have the rest of the centuries, Sergeant Guard. Let me see you. Corporal Lyle. Good, sir. Hello, here. And Corporal Fred. Come here. I want to do a here. Okay, it's two weeks. Yes, sir. group chat, sir. All right. <laughs> Someday he may like to have Look a book that. bag. Fantastic. So you can hold his book bag for him. Thanks Thank again, you sir. very much. All right. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's decided yet, and I'm working my head off uh, to make sure that we don't lose. Well, the numbers, numbers are against you, sir, don't you think? The numbers seem to be going the other way. I don't think we have an accurate count yet because of the large number that claim to be undecided. Mr. President, Mr. President there's a real perception that... on the Hill, sir, that this is headed downhill at, a, at an ever-increasing rate. Well, if it is, I'm going to try to interrupt it, but I haven't seen signs of that as yet. Frankly, I think it has been a disgraceful situation. Why? What? Why is that? Because I think that the process of confirming a Supreme Court justice has been reduced to a political, partisan struggle. Mr. Should President, you just let Mr. President, more excuse me. You, you've said that, but people like Arlen Specter gave very legal explanations on the floor of the Senate today. He's not a part of this liberal special interest lobby, is he? I don't know what his decision was based on, but I think that four former, former attorneys general, the former chief justice of the United States Supreme Court, and their wholehearted endorsements of the qualifications of Robert Bork are something that uh, should be heeded. Plus the fact that, that every national law enforcement group, such as the whole National Society of Police Chiefs and things of this kind, have all 
endorsed Robert Bork. Well, would you consider withdrawing him, sir? Would you consider withdrawing the nomination if it appears that he's going to be embarrassed or he's going to lose badly? I don't think there's anything withdrawing. No, I'm, as I said, I'm spending my time working as hard as I can to see that he gets confirmed as he deserves to be. Why do you, why do you think Thank he's you. really losing out? I mean, what has happened, really, that you seem to have really gone down the drain today? Well, I don't seem to feel that way, and uh, I haven't noticed him shedding any tears. Is this a you referendum on your clout, sir? Has this become a referendum on your clout, sir? I told you that I think to go. that what is going on is strictly partisan. Shouldn't you let Bork be Bork instead of trying to paint him like some moderate? Shouldn't he have been presented as this strictly conservative, strict constructionist that you nominate? I haven't painted him in any light. He happens to be a man who's given handed down some 400 decisions, none of which have ever been overthrown by an appeals court or the Supreme Court. But your strategy, sir, is to try to present him as if he were a moderate. Why not mobilize conservative support behind him? We're simply trying to respond to the charges, the raucous charges from some, that he was some kind of a radical. What's the reaction to Republicans? What? What's the reaction to Senator Becker coming out, a Republican on the committee, against war? You wouldn't want me to answer that now. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Why, naturally, I am going to try to change his mind. They're holding up Attorney General, General about wet tech, sir. Did you talk to him today? You said he isn't shedding any tears. I saw him briefly today. Today? Yes. What did he say, Mike? Uh, he just is waiting for the decision. Did you consider withdrawing it today? Did you discuss it? No. No. Does he want to withdraw, sir? There's no indication of anything of that kind. Are you compiling a list of people in case he doesn't make it that you would nominate in his stead? Edwin Meade? 